This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark from Team How To. Today I'm going to demonstrate a useful tool for YouTube videos, presentations, or demos. It features a spotlight on an area around the mouse pointer. It shows animation effects when you click um, your mouse. It displays keystrokes on the screen. It has a live draw feature that lets you draw, sort of like you're using a dry erase marker and it has a live zoom option all very cool uh, i did my due diligence before settling on a presentation tool and i found this one to be the best overall option for what i was looking for in a specific tool like this of any type of its kind at any price they offer a free version but the only limitation i can see as far as i can tell is only that you cannot save the settings when you close the app but for me uh Based on the cost being a total of $2.99, it was really hard for me to rationalize not buying the full version if for no other reason than just to support the creators to keep doing the good job they're doing. I'm going to go ahead and leave the download link in the description in case anybody's interested in this. Uh, you can see their website's not really easy to memorize, so with no further ado, let's get into the actual app. It does On the website, it does go into it, but I'll show you real-time what's going on here. So this is it, Sword Soft Mouse Track and it basically does what it says. It tracks your mouse and it does a lot of other awesome things. It comes here, you've got English and a couple of Asian languages you can choose from, a few different fonts. Click this if you wanted to start up with Windows. Um, let's see, uh, there's a toolbar. I don't use it, but you can see it over here. I usually just use the shortcut keys. And uh, this is uh, this one you don't even need to deal with, at least I haven't had to. So here are the five major options here. You have the show spotlight, which we're looking at. You can see if I turn that off, there you go. I've also got a shortcut key that I can use control, shift, and Z, or rather O. And you can see that turns it off and on. And you can see I've, and I've, I was the one that chose these. So this made sense to me. Just put him whatever makes sense to you if you like something different. It's real simple to use. Uh, let's go into the spotlight feature first and it'll kind of show you what's going on. You have a lot of options. You can change the radius. See, I've got it where I like it, but if I wanted to raise the radius on this, I could. I just kept it down here around 35. That's what I had it at. I'll leave it at 31. That's fine. And then it says use mouse wheel to change radius. If you did that, then you could just zoom, zoom, zoom. It's a pretty good feature, really. And then uh, we have the, uh, the opacity, which I've kept it as, at zero. You can see what happens if I change that. I kind of like it the way it is. That's for the around surrounding. And that's what makes it look like a spotlight. And then this is the opacity of the actual little ring. So I'll keep it somewhere through there so I can somewhat see through it, but it's real obvious to see. And then there's the show the shadow, which I don't really see much of a shadow, but whatever. And then this is deactivate after so many seconds. I don't use that either. But uh, go back to general, and you can see now when you check it or de-check de it, select, deselect, then you're going to get that specific thing to come off or on. And uh, the next one down we have is the live draw. I'll go ahead and show you this. When you do this, now I can just draw on this. And if I either right click, it move, removes it. Or if I hit my escape key, it also removes it. So that's real nice. I like that one. And we can come into live draw here and you can adjust everything. There's a pen width and the the opacity and the color and all the, th the things you would expect, the zoom levels, all that. So that's awesome. Uh, I really do like that one too. Next down is the live zoom and you can see boom as soon as I do it. Wherever my mouse is, that's what it's zooming in on. Kind of see like this. And if I get too close to this side of the page, then it just throws it to the other side. It's really neat. You get to the bottom, it just keeps on going down, down, down. So there you go. I don't use this one often, but I can definitely see some value in it. Um, then we can come in here if you want to see. I've changed its overall. This is the live zoom, and you can just change the size of the box that I was showing or all the different variables. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory there. The mouse click one, it's kind of interesting. There's several different options here. Uh, you can use the animation styles of whirl, wave, circle point. I ended up liking the whirl, and you can see um, what I've done here is I've got my left buttons red, my right button's green, and my middle button is going to be blue. And this, if you want to click this, it'll let you play a sound when you click it. And I'll show you a quick example there. It's the mouse click, and if I go left click, you can see, right click, and center click. There we go. And you kind of hear the clicking sound in the background. 
the clicking noise. So we'll get, get rid of that, and then I'll show you the final one. That I, yes, the final one's a keystroke, and this one's really neat. It just basically types what you're, any keys you're putting in as you're doing it. So let's just say I was, I needed to show how to control shift H or something. That way you can kind of see exactly what the person's typing. Just whatever you do, that's what shows up. And this shows how quick the fade out is. It has all these awesome variables that you can set for it. Now here's one of my favorite parts about it. You can just come in here and you can either check these as you wish or you could, there's the mouse click and the keystroke, so leave these on. Now I can either minimize it or exit and it still won't shut it down completely. It'll just disappear from my tray if I exit. It'll just be over here in this. So what's awesome here is I've got those shortcut keys in. So now I can say Control Shift O and now my that disappears. And I put Control Shift O and bring it back. And if I want to get rid of the key, the keys down here, the keyboard uh, thing, I Control K, Control Shift K. And now, going forward, that's not gonna. I'm using my keys, but it doesn't matter. I'll go Control Shift K and bring them back. So there you go. And so that's uh, pretty cool. You can just come in and shut them off, turn them on at your at your leisure. So let's say we wanted to do the zoom. So there's the, the zoom. So we could say, okay, Control Shift Z for zoom. Now I got this at my and my beck and call, and then I control shift Z for zoom, and it's gone out of my way. I don't have to. I don't have to go off board to get it. Come back on. None of that. Coming down here, opening this, changing this. All I have to do is just use my shortcut keys. Uh, there's a live draw. Let's say I want to do sh control shift D real quick. I can do my drawing. I can hit left, my right click, and boom, I'm back to back to doing whatever I was doing. Control shift O, oh, bang. I've got my thing back. So there you go. That's really what it is. Uh, it's a lot of. Uh, a lot of handy tools built in there, and I really like it. Um, like I said, I'm not getting a penny for this. I just like their software, and I just wanted to share. So hopefully you like it. If you don't, no big deal. There's other ones out there. If you found this useful, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe if, you, if you'd like. Uh, it really keeps us motivated to continue to make content. Without it, we just feel like nobody's watching, and why should we bother? So thanks a bunch. Hey. Did you remember to subscribe?